Hi, and welcome to Section 5, Developing an API Server. In this section, we will start designing and building the server backend for our application, My Contacts. We will look at how to make AJAX calls with Query and Express, build RESTful web servers, constructing the REST APIs, mock up the basic record creation, update, delete, and query methods, and then how to test the REST APIs that we built with command line tools. Now we move on to the first video of this section that is related to making AJAX calls. We use jQuery to make AJAX calls on the client side, and so we will install jQuery into our project, and we will prepare Express to respond to the AJAX requests. First, create a new project folder, 5.1, and change it to it. Then, run npm in it to create the node project. Also, we will use Express, and so we install it with npm. All right. Change to Sublime Text and open the project folder. Create a new folder called Public. Then, create a folder, Assets, Below Public, and the following subfolders, JS, CSS, and Images. Create a new file called index.html in public. Also, create index.js in the project root folder. The thing we're going to do is to write some code on the client side, index.html, to make AJAX calls to the server side, index.js. AJAX stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. It uses the XML HTTP request object to communicate with server-side backend to exchange information in a bunch of formats such as JSON, XML, HTML, text files, and so on. AJAX is usually used to update parts of a web page on the client instead of reloading the whole page. A very handy JavaScript library is jQuery, which has an AJAX method for performing an AJAX request. In fact, jQuery is a feature-rich library, not only for making AJAX calls, but we will only focus on its AJAX method in this video. So, we need to install jQuery into our project. Click on Download. Go down a bit. Click on code.jQuery.com. We will use jQuery 1.x, and so right-click on Uncompressed and save it to the JS folder. We can now use it in our project. We can use different HTTP methods to initiate an AJAX call. As the first example, we make a GET request. Go back to index.html. Make some boilerplate code here. Include jQuery. OK. We make a button to make the GET request to the back end. When we click on the button, it will call the GET function. The GET function is just a wrapper of the AJAX method. The dollar sign is the shorthand of the jQuery object. We provide an anonymous object to configure the call. The HTTP method is get. The URL is localhost colon 8000 slash AJAX call. And the data type is JSON. When this asynchronous call is finished, it either succeeds or fails. In the former case, the done method is called. We want to show the response to the JavaScript console and the preformatted text tag on the page. To make it easier to read, we use json.stringify to beautify the JSON response. If there is any error, the fail method is called. We just output the text status to the console. Also, add a pre tag for showing the JSON response. That's the front end part. For the back end, we make it express app. Set up the static resource folder. We write a get method handler for the AJAX call path. We simply return a hard-coded object back to the client. Express should listen to port 8000. We may test run the program. Switch to the terminal and run nodemod index. Then go to the browser, type in localhost 8000 slash index.html. Click on the get button. Our hard-coded object is returned and shown on the page. In this video, we have covered the basics of jQuery and AJAX.